What up guys? I'm David from The Lobster. I started a YouTube channel. I haven't done this before. That's kind of a lie. I made one when I was like 14 and it was stupid. Literally, I, I just spent this past summer in quarantine building card houses on the internet in front of a live audience of people on the internet. So I've been doing that a while. Um, people kind of asked like, what else can I do? And they've been, they've been asking me to branch out. So for the obvious step um, from streaming would be YouTube. So I decided, you know, let's try YouTube once. So I don't exactly know what I'm doing. I have a deck of cards. I said that if I ever did like YouTube videos, I'd probably do some sort of video essay content, something along that lines. Not a video essay, because those take a lot of editing and effort and patience. Things I don't have. Those are all jokes. I, I just thought I'd turn this into like a talking channel. I don't know what those are called. Commentary? I guess that's the right word. That's what I'm going to do. That's my life now. I'm wearing my mask because it is the time of COVID. And I thought, hey, let's be festive. Why not? <laughs> Question becomes... What do I talk about? I thought about talking about my fan theory for the 1985 movie Clue. I considered talking about the time that I read a dictionary cover to cover and wrote down all the cool words that I found. In case you couldn't tell, I'm just pitching new video ideas for viewers. <laughs> Whatever. Comment what you want to see next. I did get a request from one of my viewers. One of my viewers found this one rant that I did super interesting where I was talking about uh, American folklore and all the different monsters that people keep seeing all over the United States of America. Today I'm going to be talking about something called the Snallygaster, an American folklore legend. And oh my gosh, it is the best urban legend, not just in America, but in the entire world, I think. I have yet to find something this amazing, this crazy, this, this wild. I'm just using synonyms now. I should probably stop before it gets annoying. This ridiculous? There is nothing on the planet like this. There will never be another story like the Snallygaster. Okay, now that's a big word that I just used. It's Snallygaster. I'm on Wikipedia right now. The name comes from German, which it was, it was originally called Schneller Geist. And it meant, it meant quick ghost. And then it changed into the Snallygaster over time. So now I've told you the name of this thing. What is, what is the Snallygaster? I'll tell you one thing that it's not. It's not a ghost. But it's so many other things that it's, that it's infuriating. I am annoyed with how many just random mythological creatures this thing is just smushed into one. So picture this. It is 1908 or 9. I don't know. Did I write this down? Oh, I didn't write it down. Oh, yes, yes, I wrote it down. It's 1909. You live in Maryland, all right? And you're just minding your own business. And then all of a sudden, you just hear a train whistle from nowhere, seemingly nowhere. You just hear the locomotive whistle, choo-choo. <laughs> you're like, what, what, what is this? What? I don't see a train around me. And then you look up. And you see it. I need to calm down. I'm getting too worked up over this. <sighs> Starting the card house over again. So you're, it's 1909. You're in Maryland. You're doing whatever 1909 Marylanders do. And then all of a sudden, you hear the train locomotive whistle. But there's no train around. So what is it? What could it be? I'll tell you what it is. It's the Snallygaster. Now, earlier when I said that this is just like a billion different things meshed into one, you have no idea what you're in for. I heard the name Snallygaster, and I'm like, that sounds like a cool name. What could it be? What is this thing? That's the question. It is a cyclops. It has one eye. It is a dragon. It flies and it breathes fire. It is an octopus. It has tentacles. It is a vampire. It sucks all of the blood out of a human being. And then on top of that, it is a machine. Parts of it are made of metal. This thing has a drinking problem, but I'll get into that later. So in 1909, in Maryland, the Snallygaster is reported to have taken its very first victim. 
the reports say that they found his body and it was burned, like singed, because, you know, it breathes fire. And it was also drained of all its blood. Locals are terrified. They have no idea what this thing is. So what do you do? You go and you hunt it down and you murder it like it murdered your friend. There were rewards for this thing's capture. Like, I don't know how much the rewards were, but they were probably a lot. All I know is that Theodore Roosevelt was reported to have wanted to track this thing down so he could get the reward. He apparently almost like postponed a business trip for this thing. But this thing is scary. It is terrifying. And it is murdering people in cold blood. Or I guess it would be hot blood because, you know, it heats them up with fire. But who cares? So this thing is not nocturnal. It attacks during the day. It would be, the only thing that would make it scarier is if this all happened at night. People start looking for this thing. And you know what they find while they're looking for it? They find it's eggs. The Snallygaster lays eggs. It is actively reproducing. So what, what's so scary about these eggs? I'll tell you what's scary about these eggs. They're the size of elephants. I actually found like a newspaper article from like the 1950s where they said, I, I'm not kidding about this. They said that scientists Say that the Snallygaster egg takes 20 to 25 years to hatch. Don't ask me how they know how long it takes for a Snallygaster egg to hatch. I am literally going off of, like, when, when, I, when I was researching this thing, I wanted to see if I could find, like, the original newspaper reports. And so far, I cannot find them. I have found a few newspaper reports from the 1950s that have a little bit of information in them. And I am going off of those... And I'm also going off of, I'm also going off of different sources of like, you know, like cryptid databases or whatever. I'm, I'm going off of like cryptid forums where people just write in, talk about different cryptids. Like I think there's like a cryptid Wikipedia that I looked at. Honestly, the, the best part about folklore is that you don't really need to cite your sources because nobody knows where the information came from in the first place. Everyone's looking for the Snallygaster. The Smithsonian wants like the body just to put in the Smithsonian, because yeah, who wouldn't go to the Smithsonian to see this thing? The problem is catching it, right? This thing is kind of scary. It's, 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 it's going to kill you. It is going to murder you. The good news is that the humans are not alone in this fight. This is my favorite part of the legend. This, this, are you ready to have your socks blown off? The Snallygaster has an arch nemesis called the Dwayo otherwise known as the Maryland Wolfman, another urban legend. It's just like a big bipedal wolfman creature. That's why it's called the Wolfman. So the Dwayo is about the size of a bear, but it's black and it has a long tail. So you know it's not a bear. It can't be a case of mistaken identity. These people know what they saw. It also growls like a canine, so like a dog. I'm looking over like a lot of these notes and I'm finding all these different facts that I forgot about. So apparently the Dwayo can mimic the crying of a baby or the screaming of a woman. I guess that's how it lures in its prey, which is kind of funny. The Dwayo and the humans are both looking to kill the Snallygaster. The Dwayo, the Dwayo, the Maryland Wolfman, guess where it lives? Wolfsville, Maryland. I guess, I guess that's why they called it Wolfsville, Maryland. The Dwayo lives in Wolfsville, Maryland. I hate to say it, we're getting to the end of the Snallygaster tale. Let me just say, it goes out with a bang. You're gonna love this. A little after this Snallygaster scare started, a little after this Snallygaster, oh, why can't I speak? A little after this Snallygaster, sn why is this so hard to, why is this so hard to say? A little after this Snallygaster scare started, <laughs> That's so difficult to say. Okay, a little after everything started, uh, in Washington County, there were some people making moonshine and they had a giant vat of moonshine. And then all of a sudden, the Snallygaster swooped in. It swooped in, it wanted that good old moonshine. And it started drinking the moonshine. And guess what happened? It drowned. The Snallygaster died of alcoholism. It drowned in a vat of moonshine in Washington County. I finished the card tower. It's this big... It's this big, scary creature. And who kills it? Nobody. It accidentally just 
gets so drunk it can't get out of a vat of moonshine anymore. Once that happens, the moonshiners, they call in, like, government agents to, like, to verify that it's a real snallygaster. Their names are George Dansforth and Charles Kushwa. They went to the moonshine site, and they were like, yeah, that is definitely our, uh, our snallygaster with all of its tentacle, metal beak, quad, one eye, glory. They were like, what do we do with the snallygaster now that it's dead? What do we do with its body? We could give it to the Smithsonian and collect the reward, but no. They take this 2,500 gallon vat of moonshine and they blow it up with dynamite, thus destroying the remains of the snallygaster for all time. So that is the end of the snallygaster story. Um, I guess. There are later reports of people seeing the snallygaster. They aren't nearly as impressive. Uh, actually, it says, it says over here that the lifespan of a snallygaster is around 20 years, which I just realized is about how long it takes for the egg to hatch, which is kind of weird. I don't think any animals do that. So people, like every once in a while, will see something they will call a snallygaster, but uh, the big one is dead. Some people say that it's a shapeshifter. So it changes into other things, and maybe that's why it's been able to hide for so long. But I liked, I like to think of the classic Snallygaster, the one we all grew to love. If you're wondering how the how the like Snallygaster tale like actually started, like where did it come from, like where did the legend originate? This particular saga of the story started um, during like the golden age of yellow journalism in America. Which, for those of you who don't know journalism or history, um, that's yellow journalism is like sensationalized news that nobody fact checked. It was just like it, everyone ran wild with the news. It was beautiful, but it also started a war. Remember the main? Yeah, yellow journalism. That particular saga came from like yellow journalism. These newspapers wanted to like sell more copies because, you know, let's just make stuff up and people will buy it. The actual origin of the idea of the Snallygaster itself, that came from German immigrants in the 1700s. It was used to discourage slaves from running away in like the 1800s. It's kind of sad that the story was used in that way. I, 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 don't, I don't like to remember it that way. I like the particular issue that I laid out for you, that particular part of the story. That's, that's, that's how I want to remember it. But yeah, that's, that's basically the Snallygaster story. Keep in mind that these facts might not be entirely accurate. I, I just went off of what I could find about this urban legend, and not all of my sources are like academic. None of them are. So take everything I say with a grain of salt, but that's, that's the spirit of folklore and urban legends in America, is that you cannot cite your sources with this. Nobody knows like an actual story. None of these stories are like canon. There's no such thing as a canon urban legend. Let me know how that went for a first video. It was probably trash. I might delete it. I might not even upload this. I just wanted to get something on my channel so that people wouldn't just be like, because people are already subscribing to me and I haven't uploaded anything and I don't want them to just waste a subscription on someone that's not going to upload anything. So I thought I'd do that just to make people happy. If this goes well, I might talk about another cryptid, you know, might talk about some sort of, might talk about ghosts. I like talking about ghosts. Uh, might talk about movies or music. I don't know. I don't know what this is going to turn into. It might be something beautiful or it might be an absolute train wreck. We'll see. I'm, 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 my money's on train wreck. So yeah, I apologize for bad audio and bad video. This is done on an iPhone. I have no better cameras. But yeah, see y'all later.